There is a reason as to why air conditioners are always placed at the top instead of at the bottom. It is due to the fact that hotter air rises while colder air sinks. Why would hot air rise and cold air sink? And what does this phenomena have to do with placing the air conditioner at the top? Do you recall that hot objects expand whereas cold objects contracts? Yes. It's the same thing. When air is cool, it loses thermal energy, that is heat energy, and so it contracts. Conversely, warmer air possesses more heat energy, thus it expands. When an object expands, its density decreases, whereas when it contracts, its density increases. So, thermal energy is heat energy? Yes, thermal is the more scientific term for heat. I see, and hot air has more thermal energy. Hence, it expands. That's right. And when it expands, its density becomes lower. Yes. In other words, it is kind of lighter? Well, you can think of it this way, but bear in mind that it isn't the weight that has changed. Basically, it is the density that is being changed. Basically, the same number of molecules now occupy more space. So, same mass but larger volume, and this gives a smaller density. That's right. So, oh, it floats, just like low density objects floating on water. Air with lower density floats and air with high density sinks. There you go. That's why hot air rises while cold air sinks. Since hot air rises and cold air sinks, air conditioners should be placed on top so that the cold air from the air conditioner can reach the floor, allowing the whole room to be cooled. So what will happen if the air conditioner is placed near the floor? Let's ask your classmate. 